there are things that we come to realize upon growing older. And I say we because these things are realizations that are made despite our origin of birth, despite our particular upbringings, despite our political beliefs. No, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm talking about realizations that are otherwise inevitable. For instance, nothing is for everyone. Some of us learn it young, and some of us learn it as the years pass by, but we've all got to realize at one point or another, nothing is for everyone. You could shout and I mean scream to the top of your lungs in conquest to find that one iota of hope, but hope is not for everyone. You can fill an entire lake with tears shed solely for the fact that the earth and its population grows greedier and more bitter as each second passes. But crying, <laughs> crying is not for everyone. You can fall in love with the contents of the earth, its plants, its animals. You can fall in love with every individual to cross your path. But love is not for everyone. Hell, even life isn't for everyone if you want the honest truth. And yet here we are, slung from circumstance to circumstance, hung from the colors of her ever fading adolescence, flung every which way in attempt to keep up with the times. And so, sometimes, I find myself in the presence of an energy which exists far beyond the nothingness in which we speak. And this energy is met with a feeling so profound you think it unfathomable. But then again, thinking is not for everyone.